She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her We went shopping and I got some new stuff So I'm gonna show you what I got First of all, I got a bunch of new bras and stuff So I got this pair of pants, they're just like light blue jogging pants also just got this black like baby tee which is very cute and then i got this shirt it looks a lot more orange on camera than it is but it just says follow your own path it's an oversized tee you can't even see how long it is on me but it would just add some nice color to my closet and me and my mom actually got this shirt we both got the same shirt, but we didn't realize it until she started showing me all of her stuff after. But it's just this white shirt that has brown lettering saying Los Angeles City of Angels on it, which is also oversized. And then I got this brown. It's like, it's kind of a crop top, but it's also like long enough where it's not. I got these jean shorts. They're very cute. They are from Garage. Okay, these collect so much like dog hair and stuff but they're just some ribbed biker shorts and then i got this pair of like they're like sweat shorts kind of i also got these two body sprays from bath and body works the one it's like the into the night one which smells so good and then i got this champagne toast confident one it doesn't seem like much but things are so expensive now and there's really not that much cute things I don't mind how messy my hair is. It, I need to fix it. I got my Amazon packaging. They are the most random things ever, okay? Got a Tide to go pen. Then I got the telescopic mascara because I've heard a lot of good things about it and even Kate told me to buy it. Okay, so I look an absolute mess, but that's fine. And I'm watching MGK's like documentary. It's called Life in Pink. It's really kind of make me realize what I want to do in life and how hard I want to work to get to where I want to be. He literally went from making little videos with his buddies in the basement to how everyone knows him as now. It gives me a lot of motivation and makes me feel like I can actually do what I want to do. Moral of the story is that I'm going to start working towards YouTube more. And that was the motivation for it. Mudded my walls today because we're going to paint them. Because this yellow is not doing it for me. And there are these little marks all over my walls for my sister. I have a Shein order also coming in. So I'll show that when it comes in. And I have a few other things coming from Amazon. Um, I just woke up from like a two hour nap. I went tanning today. You can kind of tell like my face is a little bit red. I just woke up from a nap, like I said. And she posted a video about him like working while he was on tour. Like, it was just a little TikTok. It wasn't him, like, talking or anything. It was just showing some stuff that he did. I absolutely love that. And I also I have a clip of, I watched Machine Gun Kelly's documentary, which gave me a lot of motivation to vlog and stuff again. But I haven't been because I have been working and I don't really do all that much. Like, this is a really weird summer where there's, like, nothing going on at all. As lame as it sounds, I don't have any friends here because I am so sick of having fake friends. There's not very many, if any, real people here. I don't know, I feel like sticking alone and just having my, like having Kate in my life is good enough for me for right now. As much as it sucks not having friends to go hang out with like physically, I'm so okay with that because I know that it's gonna better me in the end and i know that me hanging out with all these people who aren't gonna better me in any way are it's just not a good idea i really want to start like working on myself again and vlogging and doing what i love i don't know i don't really know why i'm recording this i guess it's just because i have a bit of motivation and it's something to film when i have nothing but so that is the plan i'm gonna try more and i'm also gonna take some time to edit so by the time that this is out it's i don't know what time it's gonna be but it's probably a while from what it is today because I'm gonna try finding my style of editing and my style of filming and everything. I still have a lot to do, so obviously my videos are gonna improve from here. I just really wanna start taking it seriously because it is what I love to do. And as much as I don't do it often, I love doing it and it's been a dream of mine since I was eight years old. It's all, it also kind of sucks for me because I'm limited to so many things. 
Like I only have my phone to record on. I don't have like tripods or anything like that. So like right now you're literally sitting on my windowsill, which is why it's kind of a weird angle. Like you're literally just propped up on my windowsill. I forgot to mention, but when I go back into school here, I know some things are gonna be said or they're either all gonna be fake and like, oh, your vlogs are so good and like actually not like them. But I don't really give a fuck if they like my videos or not. It's something that I enjoy doing. I have always kind of been scared of judgment, but at this point, I really don't care. I know that people don't like me and I know that people will like me. I have lived my life caring what other people think and going off of people's judgment for so long. And their judgment literally does not matter. At the end of the day, like, we're all gonna die at one point. Like, we're not, like, gonna exist. In, say, 500 years from now, no one's gonna know that we even existed. So, like, what is, what's the point in caring what people now think? You know what I mean? I don't know, I'm just sick of hearing what people have to say. People can criticize to help you, but, you also can't listen to them fully because if you listen to them fully, you're never gonna do what you wanna do. You're never gonna get it done. You're just gonna stop because someone doesn't like it. Um, okay, so ignore how I look. I literally woke up maybe half an hour ago, but I got both my packages in the mail. So I'm gonna open them. I'm gonna change the angle, otherwise you're not gonna see anything. I hope they fit. I might cry if they don't. Oh, they look kind of big. They look a little bit big, but I think it's fine. But I just got them. I just did the one up, but got them in black because black goes with literally everything. Now let's get into the clothes. I'm gonna open the small things first. And then I got these earrings. They're actually pretty cute. Except for the fact that they're all tangled. Thanks. It's just this like cute white bathing suit and these are the bottoms they're a little cheeky but that's okay okay this is second bikini it's just this like cute little top with these bottoms they tie on the side that is cute and this is the last bathing suit i got it came in two different pieces it's kind of, it's like a bra top and it's very cute and these are the bottoms pretty basic i think this is a dress oh my god and it's like it ruches so i got this dress because my friend actually has it and i think it's extremely cute that's it it's just like this flower pattern with like the little tie right there and the like ruched straps they're actually pretty cute they're just like beaded bracelets with a little gold heart I got this blue oversized tee. Like, holy, is it ever oversized? Because it just says overthinking on it because same. Okay, so I didn't like, vlog much this morning because I don't know. I just didn't. But I got my AirPods in and I just got back from the dentist and they just did one filling on this side because it was the worst one. And they have to do one on this side and two in the front somewhere. But. Whatever, I have to get that done next week. But my AirPods came in and my f screen protector and stuff. It's so weird because all here feels so swollen. Like I can't, it feels like I have the fattest lip in the entire freaking world. And I absolutely hate it. And I'm not excited now to get my teeth fixed next week. I, this is the weirdest feeling ever. And I low-key kind, of kind of have a lisp this whole side. It's just frozen and it feels so weird and i'm starving because it's two o'clock and i haven't eaten yet but i can't eat now because i have to get that done i hope i don't go to work and i sound like this i worked 11 to 4 today but i got poured on because there was like a 30 or 40 percent chance of rain when i went into work and it ended up being a 60 and 80 percent chance and then there was thunder and lightning and then I got poured on and still had to park all the carts. So that was so fun. I have been watching Sam and Colby again lately because um, I stopped watching them for a little while because I just got really busy with my own life and 
I don't know. I just stopped watching them for a bit, so I'm just catching up now. And it is like, I've said this before, but I get these random bursts of like motivation and I don't even know. It's like motivation and kind of sad because it's a dream of mine. I get in these little moods where I just want to vlog and I want to create content and I want to travel and I want to do this and I want to do that. And I just, I want to do YouTube and I want to be successful at it. And that is all that I've ever fucking dreamed of. Um, I just got home from work, but I got my perfume in the mail. So I'm going to smell it right now. It's beautiful. It smells like marshmallows, kind of. And actually, I really like it. She's a Mona Lisa.